Hogan was a was an up and coming TV star at one time. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, because he was really a comedian before that, his comedy career began to progress. Then, the UFC stuff started to happen, and the podcast. And Joe, excuse me if I'm getting the chronology wrong in any way. But Fear Factor, I'm, man. Yeah, throw Fear Factor. That's how I found out about him. Totally. Fear Factor. And was it News Radio? Was that the yeah. Kelsey Grammer show? So Fear Factor, News Radio, stand-up comedy, podcasting, mixed martial arts. I mean, boom. It, career blows up. And then you people know you as you're funny. You are uh, kind of, you know, you're, you're, you've got a potty mouth, which good by me. You know, you, you'll talk about smoking weed. You're smart. You got a lot of things on your mind. And now you've got this podcast in LA and one by one as the, as the views are going up, you, it becomes more valuable to all different kinds of people. That's why you have the CEO, Jack Dorsey of Twitter on his podcast. Cause when he wants to really, really communicate, he can tweet, but he understands that Rogan's got this massive audience. So for Rogan to sign a contract with Spotify, to say no more YouTube, no oh, more Apple. Right, say again? That's not right. The uh, YouTube, the full version, like this version of, of his show, mm -hmm. will not be on YouTube anymore. Mm -hmm. But his clips page is going to be on YouTube still. Smart. Which I thought Spotify kind of got screwed a little bit on that part. Very smart. By the way, speaking of clips, again, here's Rogan as an influence. We now have the Scott and BR clips page. You can get five minutes of Kevin Harlan, five minutes of Jim Nance, five minutes of Tony Baselli, five minutes of Dylan Barber, if that's your thing. Uh, <laughs> but you got to come subscribe to our clips page. We're just getting started with this. And these are the smaller digestible parts. So you don't have to listen to 30 or 40 minutes. So with Rogan, here's the point. Rogan is taking his content and it's home base now. It really is, is just Spotify. Spotify brilliantly is doing what Sirius Satellite Radio did if you're just trying to read through all this. When Sirius Satellite Radio had nothing, they went and they took Howard Stern from radio and they put him on Sirius. They paid him a fortune. And Howard has since proven that you don't have to be on live all the time. In fact, Howard's really only on live a few hours a week. Everything you hear on his Sirius channel is recorded stuff. It could be 10 years old. You're still listening to it. For Rogan, his first episode of his podcast, 1,400 episodes ago or 1,600 episodes ago, it's still out there. It's still available. People still go listen to it and watch it. So what Spotify did is they made an investment in the Rogan brand, obviously, and they're saying, we're going to use Rogan the way Sirius used Stern, and we're going to bring all of his people from YouTube, from Apple Podcasts, and anywhere else you get Rogan, we're going to bring all those people to Spotify. Just the same way they had spent a whole bunch of money just recently buying The Ringer, which is another whole brand of podcasts mm -hmm. and, and, and content and so on. So Spotify, and I admire the hell out of them for this, they have decided to invest big money in content creators. And if you're Rogan, who estimates makes about $30,000 per episode of his podcast right now, you've just done what Stern did. You took the big money deal. And you know what? If your audience numbers dwindle, which is how industry experts predict it will go down because Apple podcast is 60% of his audio and YouTube is, I don't remember how much of a percentage of his audience. The ex experts say, He's no longer a podcaster anymore because he's now working for one company, one brand. It's not available in all different podcast platforms. So he loses his podcast status. Big deal. I got a hundred million in the bank. I give a shit. Um, but they predict, they, experts, I've read this all morning long, that his numbers will go down from a hundred million to 40 million, whatever it is. What does Rogan give a shit? He just got paid a hundred million. And if you want his content, you'll come you'll come get it on Spotify. His if numbers were, may have gone down, but Spotify's numbers are going to go up. Of course. And that is what's most important. And that, in addition to purchasing the ringer and getting Joe Rogan on board, I think that is what people lose sight of. They don't see the big picture of it. Yes, Spotify gave Joe Rogan $100 million, But what's $100 million to Spotify when what they're going to make off Joe Rogan and what they're going to make off the ringer? People see business in such short-sighted short ways. It's almost embarrassing. Well, I wanted to start there today because I find it fascinating that that this amount of money. Look, I I thought 
when Tony Romo got paid $17 million a year by CBS, like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. Uh, when you see Joe Rogan and the 14 or 1600 episodes that that man has built of his podcast, take that property and move it someplace exclusive and, and say, follow me. Guess what? The audience is going to follow him. It may go from a hundred million to 60 million. It may go down to 40 million. I don't know. I'm just telling you, there's going to be a lot of people that will follow him and it will make Spotify a ton of money. So here's congratulations, the, uh, Joe Rogan and Spotify. Here's the, uh, the math question. So he's got a hundred million dollar deal, right? Am I doing the math right to average out how much he made per episode? If you divide that by the 1400, does that mean he makes $71,000 per episode so far? Go, go do that one more time. You, you're hundred million math. dollars. Uh huh. And he's done 1,400 episodes. I would just divide 100 million by 1,400, right? Mm -hmm. So it's $71,000 an episode, basically. It's amazing. But, but think about it. You're buying a catalog of work. Just, just to be right. clear. That's you know, huge. This is like buying, if, if, if you could buy all of Michael Jackson's recordings, there's a value for that. I don't know what the number is. It could be a billion dollars for all I know. But if you could take all of the Beatles recordings, whoever owns the rights to all of that, let's just Michael call it Jackson. Paul McCartney, in this case, Michael Jackson, <laughs> and you wanted to buy, you wanted to buy the Beatles collection from Michael Jackson for $500 million. I mean, that's what Spotify has done here. They've bought themselves, however, call it, how many years has Rogan been podcasting? And 2006. Okay. So you've bought 14 years and 1600 episodes of this podcast that you've bought a body of work. Yeah. And that's going to be the exclusive thing. Once uh, at some point at the end of this year, everything is leaving Apple and every other platform and going to Spotify. So if you wanted to listen to Elon Musk, the first one, you have to go to Spotify. You know, it's not going to be on Apple anymore. That's a really, really big deal. That's the point of all of this. Again, you've bought the catalog. You've not just bought. And by the way, you've bought the future but you've bought the entire catalog. Okay. And they didn't buy creative control, which for Joe Rogan is the biggest thing. It's why everything. Would, why, why would, would you, you want to buy creative control anyways? Why would right. you care about owning the name Joe Rogan as long as you have the property of Joe Rogan? Dude, the guy can say whatever he wants. Okay. Um, he could say the N word and Spotify is not going to fire him because yeah. that's why they hired him. That's what they're paying for. That's the appeal. Really, and we're sitting here talking about radio and going back to radio and it's great for us, another platform. But there's no person on this earth that works for radio that will ever get a $100 million deal. No. That is, a, that is a podcast thing. That is a podcast, video, audio podcast thing. That's kind of when you think about it, there's not a single radio host in this world. Ryan Seacrest is probably the biggest radio name out there besides Howard Stern. He will never touch a $100 million radio deal ever. I would, you know what? You know what? I disagree with that in this sense. Because if I heart, wanted to do that iheart has multiple platforms to ensure that they can get that hundred million out of him so ryan Seacrest is so versatile he can do a bunch of stuff for iheart they've got awards they got concerts there's a way they can recoup the value of ryan Seacrest right but it's, not, million dollar but it's deal. not just for his show like if you want to make him host stuff and right. host award shows and host Joe Rogan's not doing that. He's doing a show. I no. would be interested to see what happens with the relationship of Joe Rogan and Spotify outside of the podcast going forward. I just think that, again, you, you can look at Rush Limbaugh who's making 25 or $30 million a year. You could probably look at a Dan Patrick that's making a few million dollars a year doing radio, but there's a TV component. Rome, who's making a few million. There are probably other political. Hannity's probably making 20 plus million dollars a year doing radio. There are guys making big money in radio. But your point is well made. This is a $100 million deal for 14 years of a catalog of podcasts and the future of these podcasts. So congratulations, Rogan. Congratulations, Spotify. Um, and congratulations Young to Jamie, the podcasting world. Producer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but congratulations to all you guys because um, trailblazing. And I got to give you guys nothing but credit. So there you go. All right.